I think um, overall kind of thoughts and feelings from the, particularly from the shoot, was just what, what fun it was, what um, and what a laugh we had really. <laughs> you got to say things like, "Where's my chair? <laughs> Go and get my chair out of the car. <laughs> Give me sandwiches." <laughs> Film sets always have stories that you remember. We um, we planned this shot for um, a man in the telephone box. And we got there and they decided to put an advert all the way up one side that we wanted to shoot. And I said, Barnaby, we'll just peel the bloody thing off. So I peeled it off, we shut it, and it went back on perfectly. We got the shot in the telephone box where Barnaby wanted it because of that. Rolling. And action. I think because there's so much more of the human ego to explore with this kind of story that I'd definitely be happy to pursue the genre again. It's not the only genre that I feel comfortable with, but one that I'd go back to without a doubt. I love the fact that for all of the malicious intentions that are integral to revenge thrillers, there's always room to explore humanity and humility, and it's due to those subtle undercurrents that I stay intrigued. There was a small cast, so um, you, you got to know the crew very well, which is always which is always nice, um, because they're the ones that kind of look after you. The thing that was most rewarding for me was to see it all come together, the, the final result. And uh, one of the things that impressed me the most was um, Barn Barnaby's commitment to uh, making the film as good as it can be and uh, not worrying about how long it took to do it. I thought the outcome of the film was great. It turned out for me to be a, a great short film, you know, and it was certainly very dark, it was very noir, and, you know, I love that sort of thing. I think he did a great job, I think all the crew did a great job, the actors did a great job, and, you know, I'm proud to have my name on it. It's still going well, though. Can't deny that. Looks, looks gorgeous. You mustn't forget that a film isn't down to one person. If I hadn't had the crew that I'd been working with, if I hadn't had the actors that I'd been working with, it would have never come to life. So essentially a massive thank you to everybody that was involved. <laughs>